While everyone's obsessing over ChatGPT and Claude, Elon Musk and XAI have quietly built an AI that has access to something that others don't, real-time information from the entire internet. And most people not using this technology just have no idea what they're missing. Yep, I'm talking about Grok. And in the next 12 minutes, I'm gonna show you the seven features that make it completely different from every AI that you've used, including one capability that could give you a massive competitive advantage in your industry. Hey, I'm Craig Hewitt. Welcome back to 100 Days of AI. Today's day 39. Now, I know what you're thinking, Craig, like, gosh, another AI tool, really? But the thing is, there's something about Grok that you might not understand. You see, while ChatGPT was trained on data that cuts off in 2024, and Claude kind of has similar limitations, Grok has real-time access to X, or formerly Twitter's, entire data stream. That means it knows what's happening in your industry right now, today, this very minute. But that's just the beginning. You see, most people think that Grok is just kind of Twitter's version of ChatGPT. And that's exactly why they're missing out on some incredibly powerful features that can transform how you reach competitors, identify market trends, and even generate content that's perfectly timed to what's happening in your ideal customer's world right now. So in this video, I'm gonna walk through the seven most powerful Grok features that every AI forward business leader needs to know about. We'll cover the real-time research capabilities that can give you an insider edge on your competitors, the content generation features that can help you ride trending topics before anyone else, and the one Grok trick that I use to validate business ideas in under five minutes. And stick around to the end and I'll show you how to combine Grok with two other AI tools to create what I call the market intelligence trinity. It really is mind blowing. It's a system that can help you stay ahead of every trend and opportunity in your space. Okay, let's dive into Grok and see what it's all about. Okay, so here on grok.com, this ought to look really familiar. It looks a lot like ChatGPT, it looks a lot like Claude. And just for reference, I am on the base paid plan, which I get being integrated with Twitter in the kind of $8 a month range on Twitter. There's a $30 a month and a $300 a month option. I'll let you explore those. But here in Grok, you see we have the ability to attach files like a lot of services. And right now it's using this kind of GPT-5 type router mode. So it's gonna pick the best mode for us. It could be fast, Grok 3, it could be expert, Grok 4. And if you're on the $300 a month plan, access to Grok 4 heavy. I think Elon is carrying forward some of his SpaceX uh, nomenclature here. Okay, so we mentioned the real-time data aspect of Grok. Let's put that to the test and see what's going on in AI news and research today. So we'll say, hey, what's going on with Anthropic and their legal battles? Uh, and so the latest is the $1.5 billion settlement in a class action lawsuit on with book authors. And gosh, say, okay, cool, that's interesting. Like, where did this come from? was announced September 5th. Wow, that's four days ago <laughs> as of recording this. And how do I know this? Because it has references here from X, I might call it Twitter sometimes, uh, and news sources. Okay, that's cool. So like we use perplexity to give us real-time news and search data, we can use Grok to give us up-to-the-minute information on what's going on with a trend or a competitor. Okay, cool. Let's do something different. and say, what's the latest AI news of the day? Relevant articles and topics from the last three days about new AI tools. Cool, so it's talking about Roblox has new AI tools for creators, that's cool. Snapchat's AI powered lens for image creation, Anthropic's copyright settlement we talked about, Lyft's AI talent push, Scope 3, never heard of Scope 3, uh, and the level uh, AI's impact on entry level jobs. We've talked a lot about that, right? Tons of information, tons of information, uh, and it tells you where this information is from. Okay, cool. So what about image generation? So let's start a new chat here. Okay, let's go to talk about generative media here. So let's go to the Imagine tab over here, and let's give it a prompt. So asked it to create an image of a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel riding a surfboard on the ocean playing basketball. This looks a lot like my dog, Charlie. Uh, so that's cool. So we click on this and say, now let's make a video of our dog, Charlie here playing basketball. And just click the make video 
tab and you see it's incrementing here and it's gonna create a video for us literally just based on a single prompt and an image that we chose. It's already 45 seconds into it. This is just real time. And we'll wait just another couple seconds for this to finish up and we'll see what this comes up with. Incredible, right? He's, he's following the ball. It has sound with it. Okay, so we have a video here of my dog, Charlie, riding a surfboard, playing a basketball. That's cool. Uh, go back to the video here and let's make it spicy. Uh, I'm 18 year old years or older and it is going to recreate this in a different way. Spicy to me means, I don't know, risque adult. It has me to confirm its age. So I don't know what this could mean with a dog playing basketball on a surfboard, but let's just see. Uh, oh, wow. Okay. So he's jumping. Oh, good for Charlie. Uh, my dog though is just lazy, so he wouldn't do this. <laughs> okay. So this is the imagine tab on Grok. You can create a ton of interesting stuff here. Okay, cool. So let's go to voice mode. It's going to ask for my permissions here and you say, yes, I want to give it access just this one time. So now let's start talking to Grok. So Grok, can you tell me the competitive positioning of the four major players in the podcast hosting space, including Castos, which is my business? Tell me how Castos stacks up against the competition. Cool. Okay. So in just uh, a second here, I gave it one prompt. It gives me that gives me the competitive landscape of uh, my business versus the kind of three big competitors in my space. And again, references, right? It has these references from X or Twitter, and it has these websites that it pulled from. It also is very fast. A deep research project like this in Gemini or in Claude would take 10 minutes. So that's really fast. But voice mode, great. Uh, I like voice mode in a lot of products and Grok is no different. So voice mode, pretty cool. Voice mode also has this concept of different assistants. So this was Aura, you can have Leo. So let's try Leo and let's give him, instead of just an assistant, let's get him. Kind of got started by itself. We had to pause it and we're gonna restart it. And we just hit this button down here to restart voice mode. Hey, give me a workout plan. I want to go to the gym four days a week and I want to lose body fat while maintaining or increasing muscle mass. The next area I want to explore is tasks. So over here on the left sidebar, uh, tasks. This is the one place where Grok really deviates from ChatGPT or Claude or Gemini is the concept of natively scheduled tasks. And so you can say, hey, create me a daily news digest in the AI space every morning at six o'clock. So let's do that right now. So uh, let's just call this AI daily news brief daily time at, let's do really early in the morning. So I get up pretty early. Let's say 5.30 in the morning and let's give it a prompt. I'm gonna use Super Whisper to type this in so I don't have to type. Give me the latest information on news, tools, and trends from the AI world. Make this relevant to last three days and to my audience who are business owners who want to stay on top of AI news development so they can be more productive at work, grow more fastly, and be more profitable in their businesses. Cool. And so now we have this task and Grok is going to run every day at 5.30 in the morning and send me this this report. All right, so this will be a news brief. Pretty cool. So Grok also has a concept of projects. So just like ChatGPT and really like Claude and Gemini, uh, it has a concept of projects. This is a place where you do a specified kind of type and scope of work. And so we can create a new project here and give it tasks and have conversations with it. So you could upload a bunch of files from your computer. You could connect to Google Drive or Microsoft OneDrive. Uh, and you can even attach previous conversations that you've had within Grok. And so within the project here, you can give it instructions. This would be like a system prompt. So you would give it really detailed instructions as to what you want uh, this project to do. So I want you to write emails and this is who my ICP is. And these are examples and this is my style guide. So a system prompt here should be something you spend quite a bit of time on. This is not just a one 
shot two or three line type of prompt. This is something you use every time you come in here, at least to give it a persona. And then you can attach documents and you can just add text here. So you can give it a bunch of text or you can attach documents either from your computer directly or you can add from Google Drive. And so I have things in Google Drive here and I will like I'll upload this ideal client profile for my AI forward coaching program. Okay. And so it has the context of the AI forward coaching program. And I can say something like, give me three ideas for paid acquisition based on my ICP. And so it's referencing this. If it had more detailed instructions about, uh, or like a really good system prompt, they would probably do a little bit better job, uh, but it knows who my ICP is. So it's a LinkedIn sponsored content campaigns. That makes a lot of sense to me. YouTube pre-roll with educational hooks. That makes a lot of sense to me. Google search ad for high intent keywords. That makes a little less sense to me, but still probably pretty relevant. You know, kind of kind of taking a step back here. The one thing I will say about Grok is it is by design meant to be no BS, uh, cutting through a lot of the kind of corporate jargon garbage that we find a lot of times in other LLMs. Like if you think ChatGPT sounds really sterile, maybe you would appreciate Grok's kind of forthrightness and uh, dryness, right? So it also can be really funny. Uh, so let's say, hey, tell me a joke. Okay, that's not very funny, <laughs> that's fine, you know? Uh, but the place I use Grok often is if I'm getting results from other LLMs, we call this kind of uh, model stacking. So you do a thing in ChatGPT and Claude and Gemini and you get results and you say, hey, I wanna compile these into one place. I might come to Grok as this third party in this case, or I could use Manus for this as well and say, hey, Grok, analyze these and tell me which result you think is best. That's a pretty good use case for Grok for me. But the place I really use Grok is in its market trend analysis. So you might say something like, tell me about the recent events going on in the podcasting space and how Castos can capitalize on those. And so as opposed to ChatGPT or Claude that are trained on data from a year and a half ago at this time, Grok is thinking as of the data that it has today based on what's going on on Twitter and X, as well as news resources from the internet that it's going out and compiling. And so you see it's browsing my website. It's searching Twitter now for podcasting or innovations and trends since January 1st, uh, 2024. It's building a list of uh, sources here. Podcasting space is expected to reach 204 billion by 2023. And it's giving me a market report essentially on what's going on in the podcasting space. AI, obviously, video podcasting and multi platform distribution, 100%. YouTube is massive for podcasting. Advanced monetization techniques, 100%. Transcripts and uh, accessibility features. Uh, immersive experiences. Oh, that's pretty cool. Like I might say, I haven't really even thought of that. I might really dive into that and have that be part of our strategic initiative going forward. So you can see how using a tool that has up-to-date information could really be advantageous for you as a business leader to take your business to the next step with AI. And I think Grok is really uniquely positioned for this. So that's a walkthrough of Grok. If you enjoyed this, please like, subscribe, smash the bell. And if you're ready to take the next step as an AI forward leader, maybe you're kind of like, hey, I use ChatGPT a little bit, but I really want to learn more about AI and become AI forward and everything I do at business. I've put together a free 30 day kind of crash course to take you from here to there to where you want to be. Link is in the description below. I'll send you an email every day for 30 days. It'll really advance kind of where you are in your AI journey. That's all for me for today. We'll see you tomorrow on 100 Days of AI.